Hey everyone, welcome to another review, and welcome to my review for the movie The Sun. The Sun stars Hugh Jackman, Zen McGrath, Vanessa Kirby, Anthony Hopkins, and Laura Dern, and the movie is directed by Florian Zeller, the guy who did The Father, and now he's done The Sun. The Father, really good movie, a little depressing, definitely a movie I would never want to watch again, but Anthony Hopkins was solid, and I still think it was a solid movie. Depressing and not a big watchable movie, but still a good movie. The Sun is a movie I actually really wanted to see because it's about depression. You all know me. I've suffered a lot through depression. I've been through, I've been through the ringer, man. Like I, I've done my, like I went through some stuff. Like I've contemplated like suicide and really bad depression and. I had a lot of unhappiness throughout my life and stuff. Luckily, I found my wife, the love of my life, and my life is, you know, been put back together. And I just I feel good now. And I wanted to watch this movie because it seemed fascinating, a story I could relate to. And I, I, I'm like, it's got a good cast, and I'm like, if this movie can put the effort of uh, of tackling a subject like depression, like they did with Alzheimer's and the father. This movie can be incredibly good. Incredible. This movie does not do that. This movie is actually very insulting to people with depression. I feel like the writer of this movie had no idea what depression is and what people actually go through with depression. For one thing, the movie's not even about really depression. It's about the father dealing with his son who has depression. <laughs> That also could be an interesting thing. A father who doesn't get it and doesn't understand it. A movie called Joe Bell did that. About a man who had a gay son. And he didn't know how to deal with it. But then he eventually came to terms with it. That movie was done in a very like intriguing way. And a very... like I think a very deep way. And I, I think it was a very respectful way. This one... I wouldn't say it's, it's not disrespectful. I just I feel like it is kind of clueless. And doesn't really know what depression is like it just kind of says that people are sad people want to do things but like they don't go in deep rooted issues like with depression i thought the movie allowed be i thought the movie would be like ordinary people uh directed by robert redford that movie is a fantastic film about depression that's an older movie that's like a 1980 movie that's a fantastic film and Tiffany, Timothy uh, Hutton in that movie is incredible. Uh, Zen McGrath is, barely, like, he doesn't do a lot in this movie. And I, I didn't think he was that good in this film, actually. Really, I did not. Um, I thought Hugh Jackman was really good. I didn't like his character, but I thought Hugh Jackman was solid in the film. I thought Vanessa Kirby, I think, stole the movie. I think she's definitely the best, and I think she is the show stealer. Laura Dern's okay, Anthony Hopkins is okay, but I was just really disappointed with the st how the story was laid out for me and just how they talk about these issues. And it was like, okay, like, okay. Like, and the, again, you can make a movie about people who don't know anything about a certain subject, but you, you got to do it in a clever way, in a meaningful way. And just this movie feels like it knows what it's talking about. And it really doesn't. And it was very frustrating to watch. I was really looking forward to it. And I just it was so, such a letdown. Such a letdown. And I don't know, I, just, I can't recommend this movie. And I know people want to see it because they think, oh, is it going to talk about depression and the issues of, like, suicide and, you know, really bad thoughts and, you know, bad home life and pressures of being a teenager Barely talks about a lot of those things. Really doesn't. Focuses a lot on the father. It, it, it glosses over a lot of the things and the issues people go through. And I'm like, what? Like, this is like... This is like a mild movie about depression. It's like the clip show of a depression movie. And I'm not asking this movie to go bleak or anything, but give me something. Like, The Whale. The Whale went to so much detail and bleakness about obesity obesity and struggling with it like that movie was fantastic this one was like borderline like hallmark level shit and just wasn't a fan wasn't a fan i didn't like 
despise it. There's some moments were good. There's a, there's a really good Hugh Jackman moment with his son. There's a good uh, couple scenes of Vanessa Kirby that were really good. There's actually a really funny scene in the movie that actually had me laughing quite a bit. And I think there is some heart in there, and, and the intention, like, it was, it's a solid effort. I could tell he he meant well with this movie. It, just, it was a letdown. I just don't think it was that great, and I was very disappointed with it. And I, I, I think maybe they should have had a stronger writer or something, but maybe Darren Aronofsky should have done this one. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, I'll just go on 10. I, I'm going to give The Sun... A four out of ten. Just not a good movie. Could have been so much better. So let me know in the comments below. Are you a fan of the movie The Sun? Do you think it tackles the issues in a proper way? Or do you think, you know, The Father's a better movie? Or The Whale's a better movie? Let me know in the comments below. Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and join the duck side.